Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode in a new series of Gearblocks tutorials. Over this series we'll take a look at some of the tools in the game, learning how to create simple constructions and adding basic motion and mechanical elements to them. But first, before we try building anything, in this episode we'll start with the basics and find out how to load and control a pre-made construction. So first let's have a quick look at player movement and camera. We can use the mouse and WASD to move around and spacebar to jump. In the bottom left of the screen you'll see an option to toggle between first person and third person views by pressing V. And while in third person view you can hold down left alt and use the mouse to zoom in and out. Or you can use the mouse wheel to do the same. Also in the bottom left of the screen you'll see an option to toggle into free flight mode by pressing X. And in this mode spacebar will lift you up and C will bring you back down again like that. OK, let's have a look at the toolbox. So in the bottom of the screen you'll see a row of tools that you can switch between by using the number keys. So we have the Builder tool, the Material tool, the Painter tool and the World tool that are available in the demo and we'll go over these in more detail in future videos. By holding Q you can bring up the tool UI and this will change depending on which tool is currently selected. And while holding Q, you can also use the mouse to switch between tools, like that. Right, let's introduce the Builder tool. So we'll make sure we have it selected, and we'll hold down Q to bring up the tool UI. Now at this point, it's worth mentioning a couple of concepts, parts and constructions. A part is an individual component that you build out of, and a construction is made up of one or more parts that have been put together. So here we can see the various categories of parts available in the demo. Here's a construction I've built already. But let's take a look at some of the example constructions that come with the game. So to spawn one of these, we can select it and press load construction. Now a construction, when it's first spawned, is in the frozen state. It doesn't collide with anything and it doesn't move. And this can be thought of as the build mode because it's where you can add parts and remove them and otherwise modify the construction. And we'll go over this in more detail in future videos. For now we just want to unfreeze it. And to do this we can use the construction UI. So we can just highlight the construction somewhere and hold down left shift and Q. And this will bring up a number of operations that we can do. For example in this case we want to unfreeze it like that and now it'll move around. But we want it to move under its own power and to do this we need to turn on all of the part behaviors. And we could do this by just highlighting each part like the motors for example one by one and turning them on. So if I highlight this you can see in the bottom right of the screen uh, a UI that shows some details about the part behavior and I can press E to switch it on and off like that. But there's an easier way to turn them all on together, and that's to use the construction UI again. So if we hold left shift and Q, and we can click this button here to switch them all on. And you can see the servo motor has centered the wheels and the lights have switched on and so on. Again, we can use this UI to switch them all off, but for now let's leave them switched on. So how do we control a construction? We need to figure out which keys are bound to, to which uh, various part behavior. Uh, and to do this, there's a couple of ways. We can either have a look at the construction description, and typically this will list the uh, keys that are bound to the various things in it. Or we can have a look at each part uh, individually. For example, this motor here, you can see it's been bound to G and T. So we can have a look and see that, yep, those keys will control the various motors and things. Now I mentioned that uh, highlighting a part and pressing E will switch it on or switch it off. And the same thing applies to seats, so we can do that to get into the construction and drive it around from inside. And we can also switch to third person view while doing that as well. To get out of the seat, we need to basically switch it off, so we can just highlight it and press E. 
to do that. And lastly, if we want to remove a construction from the scene, we can do that from within the construction UI again as well by just bringing that up and clicking destroy construction. Okay, so I think that's enough to get you going by trying out some of the example constructions. In future videos, we'll get started actually building some stuff. But for now, that's it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.